Hello everyone and welcome to Barca News. It is March 8, 2023. And it's been revealed that Enriquez Negreira offered to help Barcelona with the VAR. Also, it looks like the club could be changing their mind about signing a center midfielder this upcoming summer. And it looks like Nikon Abde could end up staying at the club after all. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Mo and before we begin with the news, I would like to remind all of you that if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please consider subscribing. It's free. It only takes a second and in doing so, you'll be helping the small and humble channel continue to grow. Also, if you're looking to buy any Barcelona jersey or any Barcelona gear, make sure you hit the kit bag where they have the biggest selection of football jerseys and gear from the top football leagues all around the world. The link is down below in the description. And finally, if you've already subscribed, I would like to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart for always supporting this small and humble channel as I, as I try to bring you the most up-to-date news about our beloved club, FC Barcelona. Now we begin with the news that Spotify have decided to create a special FC Barcelona jersey for a Clásico match that will take place on March 19th. Now as you might recall, the first leg of a Clásico in La Liga have featured a special Barcelona jersey with the OVO Drake logo, which is an owl. And that was done in order to celebrate Drake reaching the 1 billion uh, streams on Spotify. And it seems that the music streaming company have decided to do the same thing for this El Clasico match on March 19th. And this time they have chosen the Catalan singer Rosalia. Now, Rosalia is considered one of the biggest Spanish speaking singers in the entire world. So Spotify have decided to use her logo on the Barcelona jersey for this upcoming El Clasico match but we have yet to know what the logo will look like. Now, unlike the OVO owl for the, uh, the Drake OVO owl that Barcelona used during the first classical match, which did not really go on sale, it seems that Barcelona will be putting on sale this jersey with the Rosalia logo, which will be very interesting to see what it will look like. Now, speaking of El Clasico, I mentioned in the previous video that Ronald Araujo was not gonna miss that El Clasico match unlike what many uh, Madrid-based media were saying that Ronald Araujo was going to receive a two-match ban after the red card that he received in the match against Valencia. And I told you that that was absolute BS, that Ronald Araujo was only going to miss one match, which, would, uh, which is going to be this upcoming match against Athletic Bilbao, and that he will be available for the match against Real Madrid. Well, now this has been officially confirmed by the Royal Spanish Football Federation. So don't take my word for it. Take the word of the official committee that, that um, regulates the Spanish league. And they have officially announced that Ronald Araujo will indeed only miss one match, which will be against Athletic Club de Bilbao, which means the Uruguayan defender will be available for El Clásico on March 19th, ready to play as a right back so he can stop as he always does that threat from Vinicius Jr. Now on to the news that it seems that the referee Enrique Negreira had offered Barcelona some help with the VAR in 2020 when the whole COVID pandemic began to affect the club. Now as I reported before, Enrique Negreira was hired by Josep Maria Bartomeu between the years of 2016 and 2018 as an external consultant while he was still the vice president of the board of referees. And I also reported about how Bartomeu decided to end the contract of Enrique Negreira in 2018 because he decided that the club weren't really getting their money's worth. And after this happened, this former referee sent threatening text messages to Bartomeu, threatening to expose the irregularities of the club if Barcelona did not hire him back and did not extend his contract. Well, it seems that after Enrique Negreira was fired and after he decided to blackmail the club to try to get his job back, it seems that he texted Josep Maria Bartomeu once again in 2020 when the pandemic had, had just hit in order to offer Barcelona help with the VAR because that season, as you might recall, Real Madrid won the league with a lot of questionable decisions by the VAR. And it seems that Enrique Negreira offered Barcelona to help them with the VAR and according to him, he was going to help Barcelona because Real Madrid had won La Liga through several questionable VAR calls and that Enrique Negreira could help Barcelona in, in, uh, in terms of uh, the VAR not being so helpful to their arch rival Real Madrid. Now, of course, nobody is talking about this. The mainstream media in Spain are not reporting on this because the only story they want to sell us is that Barcelona were paying off Negreiras 
because they were trying to buy influence amongst the referees, but they won't tell you that what Negredas did in 2020 was offer his services because Real Madrid had won that, uh, that season through many questionable calls by the VAR, and it seems that Enriquez Negreda thought that he could help the club reduce or minimize the impact of those uh, unfair or irregular calls in favor of Real Madrid. But of course, Bartomeu had already decided not to proceed with Negredas back in 2018. So he decided not, not to proceed with him once again. Now, as I reported yesterday, Jean Laporta, during an interview that he gave, he said that he, wa he was thinking about extending the contract of Xavi Hernandez, even if he doesn't win La Liga, because Jean Laporta was very happy with, uh, with the work that the Spanish coach was doing with Barcelona. Well, today, Xavi Hernandez responded to Jean Laporta's statements and he very humbly said, The president's words took me by surprise. The president is a friend. Barca is lucky to have a president like him. He is very reliable and he goes for it. For me, he is a friend, but first the results and then the renewal. This is not about money or years of contract, but about the fact that I want the club to do well. The day I feel that I am not convincing the players, I will go home. Now these are amazing words by Xavi Hernandez who is showing us that he really doesn't care about how many years of contract he gets or how much money he gets paid. That all he really cares about is that Barcelona succeed and win titles. And that's what happens when you hire a coach who is from Barcelona, who grew up through the academy, who was a player there for his whole career, and that he feels that genuine love for the club and it's and what the club stands for rather than hiring an, an, an outsider that has no kind of connection to FC Barcelona. Now, Xavi Hernandez does have a contract until 2024, and as I reported, and as I just said, Laporta does want to plan on extending that contract, but Xavi is more focused on winning titles first, and that he doesn't want to think about extending his contract until that happens. Now, Altra news that Barcelona could be changing their mind about signing a center midfielder this upcoming summer. Now we've been talking about for, about this for several months now because Sergio Busquets' contract will expire at the end of the season. And as such, Barcelona have been in the market to try to sign a replacement for him in the pivot position. But after Jean Laporta's statements yesterday in his interview, it seems that Barcelona might not try to make a big effort to sign a pivot in the summer after all, especially given the difficult financial difficulties that the club are going through with Barcelona needing to reduce their salary bill by 200 million euros. Now, Barcelona are still interested, of course, with people like Amrabat or Ilkay Gundogan. But unless something drastic happens, like Sergio Busquets not extending his contract or Nico not working out in the pivot position or a player leaving, then Barcelona are not going to try to make a big effort to sign a pivot in the summer, which means that Barcelona will most likely give Nico Gonzalez a chance at that pivot position. Now, Dico Gonzalez's loan with Valencia will end at the end of the season, so he will be coming back in the summer. And it's reported that Barcelona will be giving Nico a chance during that preseason to see if he can prove himself. And if he does, then Barcelona might not sign a center midfielder after all. Now, Nico is not the only player that Barcelona are changing their mind about what to do with him. It seems that Barcelona could also consider keeping the Moroccan winger Abde. Now, Abdi is currently on loan with Osasuna until the end of the season, and he will be returning to the club in the summer. And Barcelona had initially decided to offload Abdi because he does have a good market value, where Barcelona think that they can sell him for around 25 to, 3, to 30 million euros, which is, of course, a really good chunk for Barcelona, especially considering the difficult financial situation that they're currently going through. But it seems that Barcelona could give Abde, after all, a chance during the preseason to see if he can prove himself and Barcelona could consider keeping him for one more season. Now, this decision is not final, of course, and Barcelona could still end up offloading Abde in the summer. But it seems that Barcelona are coming around the idea of maybe keeping Abde, especially given the consideration that right now there's nobody to play on the left wing with both Ansu Fati and Ferran Torres not performing and with Xavi sometimes opting to play Gabi or Pedri on the left wing over using one of his current left wingers. So Barcelona will be giving both Nico Gonzalez and Abde a chance to prove themselves once they come back from their respective loans. Which begs the question, where does this put Barcelona in regards to their signings this upcoming summer? Well, it seems that Barcelona are now focused on three main targets. Number one is to bring a striker to the club. Number two is to reinforce their right back position. And number three, to sign a center back. 
And in regards to the striker, as I've reported before, Barcelona have decided that Vitor Roque will be that striker that Barcelona are going to sign so he can train under Robert Lewandowski and be his substitute while the Polish striker is at the club. And once Lewandowski leaves, then Vitor Roque will be the starting center forward for Barcelona. Now, as I mentioned in the previous video, Barcelona have an upcoming meeting scheduled with Atletico Paranaense to try to negotiate that price for Vitor Roque because even though Atletico Paranaense have agreed to negotiate a payment plan with Barcelona. They're currently asking for too much, which is around 50 million euros, which Barcelona are not willing to pay. Now, in regards to the right back position, Xabi's favorite option, as I reported previously, remains Villarreal's Juan Foy. But of course, there's still the big problem of his tag price, where Villarreal wants 60 million euros for the Argentinian defender, which Barcelona are not willing to pay. Now, Barcelona do have a very good relationship with Villarreal, so negotiations will continue, but we're going to have to see how much Villarreal will be, will be willing to reduce that price, because if they're not willing to reduce it by too much, then Barcelona are going to have to look for another right back. Now, in regards to the center back, this is reportedly not Barcelona's main priority, because Barcelona does have five center backs right now, which, has, which are Koundé, Araujo, Eric Garcia, Christensen, and of course, Marcos Alonso. However, Barcelona will look to sign a center back only if something happens, like one of the center backs leaves, or if Jordi Alba leaves and then Marcos Alonso has to move over to the left back position. So only in no situation will Barcelona consider signing a center back. And of course, we've already discussed some of the options that Barcelona have considered, such as Athletic Club de Bilbao's Inigo Martinez, or Endica, who will become a free agent this upcoming summer. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like. Also, I would like to invite all of you to please leave a comment down below, giving me all your thoughts and opinions about all the news that I share with you. And finally, I would like to invite all of you to please subscribe to the channel so you can stay current on all the latest news in regards to our beloved club, FC Barcelona. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And as always, Visca Barça.